Well, it's no more news that the chairman of the EFCC slumped at an event in the course of the week, but then he's fine. In fact, before the end of the day, he was able to, you know, do this interview with um, Channels Television, credit to Channels Television. And so, um, but then after talking about his health, which he said um, the doctor found out that he was a little bit dehydrated and that was why the scenario that played out actually played out and so but then i'm sure they have lots of work on their hands i think that's one of the reasons why we would have seen such a thing happen but thank god he's fine now and he was able to respond to you know certain questions by the presenter um which borders around terrorism financing terrorism we will you would agree with me that the financing of terrorism has given rise to its effect and its effectiveness over the years. Now, Nigeria has been battling with terrorism for over ten, over a decade now, and you know many lives have been lost. I mean, properties being destroyed and all that. Unfortunately, it's sad to note or know that the people who are financing terrorism are Nigerians, though there are some foreigners amongst. But there are insiders, which you know, makes me to agree with the Yoruba adage that says to what that simply means is that if the enemy within does not conquer you, then the one without has no say. He does not have a hold on you. And so um let's listen to what the EFT chairman has to say. He is a you know um a core person. He, of course, if we have to talk about finances and all that, these are people who are actually in charge of it. And interestingly, it's a young man. Uh, I think it's just 40 years old, and I believe that the youths are right, gradually finding their way into top offices. However, let's just quickly see what or hear what he has to say. Talk about uh, within the next few minutes that we have some of the difficult job that you have on your hands. First and foremost, I'm interested yes. in knowing what is happening about the issue of terror financing. Uh, those experts in the field would tell you that financing uh, terror is like the oxygen that makes it uh, uh, work. Uh, the UAE government on Monday came out, not a, a story that is f uh, too far from our eyes. We've seen it before, about six Nigerians who they said they are linked into financing terror globally, and about uh, almost th over 30 people also that are Lebanese and other nationalities that are uh, linked to it. The federal government has said several times that they're going to publish the name of those who are financing terror. Can you tell us tonight, who are these people financing terror, unleashing terror, mayhem on our people, killing innocent Nigerians? Jewun, if you are my advisor, will you advise me to come on national television to tell, uh, you know, the whole world regarding uh, matters of this uh, sensitive, uh, uh, ish I mean, uh, uh, national security issue? Certainly not. But what I want to assure you is the fact that uh, we are working tirelessly together with other sister agencies to ensure that, uh, we, uh, you know, this country is free of terrorism. The reason why I'm asking the question is this. The federal government has made the promise, severally, that they will make it public. The UAE government has made it public. And so th that is the reason why I'm asking. If the UAE, for example, and some other governments have come up with the names of those who are financing and causing people to die and financing how people are being killed, uh, does it not deserve that people, Nigerians know, name and shame in them? Of course, uh, uh, transparency is uh, uh, one of the bedrock of, uh, of this administration. You are aware, of course, I'm not the spokesman for this administration. But I believe that uh, at the right time, Nigerians will get to know those that are financing terrorism in this country and, uh, and beyond as well. But how, what, what are you doing in sniffing life out of the... Okay, let's just, let's just hold it there. Um, I think the message has been passed. They find it difficult to name the people who are financing terrorism, which makes it difficult to fight terrorism in Nigeria. We know our problems and we are bottling them up. It's becoming explosive now. And I think now is the time when the root of terrorism has to be dealt with in Nigeria. Now that this, for instance, bandits are now going as far as, you know, kidnapping 
people who are in the government coffers, House of Rep members, emirs are being kidnapped and children of you know House of Rep members being killed and all of this. And you will agree with me that all these are just have to stop. All these just have to stop. When will these people not be named? Why can't they be named? Who are they? Do they have two heads? Are they not Nigerians? Don't we all live and abide by the same constitution? Why will some people just be uh, in a corner and causing mayhem? Not even with monies they work for, but with the money of the people you are killing the people? And interestingly, the UAE has come out to name some people. You recall that Nine Mobile came out and said one of their board directors that they are, they are, that was named amongst them is not actually the person. He is actually another person. I mean, the name are just the same. Well, it's okay. It's okay. One day, and I believe very, very soon, all this will have to stop. And whatever is hidden before man, it's open before God. We are trusting God to help us because these are the people that, you know, are in position. We you know who should have, you know, but then look at what he said, which of course is true. He said, if you are my advisor, advisor, would you have, uh, would you have advised me to come on national TV and start, you know, mentioning this person, that person is, <laughs> I mean, just keep the young man there. Can you imagine that? Well, that is all. That's that what I, I just want us to strike a conversation and just talk. This is serious matters. And then we just pick on matters that, you know, just, you know, heated meat matters. And, you know, let's just talk about it. What's your opinion about what the chairman of the EFCC has said? That they finally, they, they can't even name them, let alone arrest them or prosecute them. Look at how long it takes to do prosecutions. I don't know why it's taking that long. Is it like we have a weak judiciary system of our investigations are, are not up to date and all of that? You know, I think all this, we've just got to look at them and I'm um, sure we would eventually, you know, get to the root of this matter. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, please do us the favor by sharing. You have to punch the notification button and also subscribe to our channels. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.